going on, y'all? Um, as you can see, I got another project that's coming up. Had a um, family friend come over to my house and saw RC cars. He used to be in it and uh, has been in it for a while. And he was looking at buying a new RC. And I told him I had some parts of Pike. I threw them together, a, a decent car for, you know, not too much. Cheaper than a brand new car. And I even give him a battery and some chargers and stuff. So what I'm going to be end up doing is cleaning all these parts off, seeing what I have so I can put them something together, which it's going to be, it's looking like it's going to be a Typhon with outcast arms. And we're going to give him some nice wheels and set him up to where he can get, he wanted to jump it. So that's what we're going to do is get him up to like 50, 60 miles an hour and, and have it be able to jump. All right, so the first thing that I want to do is get everything that is non-moving clean first. And what I mean by non-moving is, I mean, yeah, obviously suspension moves and all that stuff, but it doesn't have bearings and stuff in it, so it doesn't get ruined by water or anything like that or any kind of cleaner. So what I want to do is take Simple Green, and it's either the foaming crystals or the regular simi uh, Simple Green, whatever you want to use, and clean all the plastic parts. All that stuff, get it all cleaned out. And then get the inside, see where inside there. You don't really want to get that wet because of the bearing in there. So you want to use something that you can clean in there, like a, um, a oil or something like that, or WD-40, uh, something like that. But make sure you oil the um, bearings. You don't want to just leave them with WD-40 or um, any other kind of lubricant to get stuff loosened. So, all right, y'all. Flip stuff over. I'm gonna leave the inside to that facing away all, at all times. Maybe set it up like that and have it face down, but never have it facing that way. So I don't want to get as much simple green in there. I'll let it sit for about half an hour. Now what I do is take a brush and get all in the cracks and crevices and get all that stuff cleaned out of there. And spray it over with some WD-40. Let it sit for a little bit, scrub it some more, and see what we get after we uh, use the air compressor. <laughs> Alright, you already know how I do. Don't forget your Loctite. <laughs> Alright, y'all, as I'm going along, I'm cleaning up bits and pieces. This time I'm using some uh, Almerol Defectant Cleaner. Works really good. The store didn't have my usual uh, simple green foam foaming crystals, but it's doing a job uh, getting stuff cleaned up as I'm putting stuff on. That's day one, still got quite a ways to go. 
and see what parts that we need. I'm pretty sure I have at least 95% of the parts, but whatever I need, I'll just order and see what we got to do from there. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. And the mess. My organized, disorganized chaos. All right, y'all, just plugging away at it. <clears throat> As I get to each part, I'm uh, cleaning it all out and putting them on the actual chassis. I'm getting there, getting there. All right, y'all, I ran into a little dilemma. Nothing really big, but um, this gear inside here uh, is stripped, obviously, because I've put <clears throat> two different gears in and or diffs in, and they're they're perfect diffs, shimmed and all. And I even took one out of my um, tight stretch typhon that I uh, pretty much speed run or. I do other things with it, but I keep it in good condition. So what I'm gonna end up doing is taking my Typhon's uh, whole diff out. I'm gonna take the whole housing and all that stuff out and put it into the creation I'm making for our buddy. Um, I'm gonna have to end up taking out both of them, my front and rear, and put it in here because the um, these gears are different sizes. I'm not going to say the name because it's slipping my mind right now. I can't remember the name. But they're different size gears, as you can see. I can't remember what number that is. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If I'm not mistaken, that's 10. And then a Typhon obviously has a lot more. I'm not going to sit here and count it. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm kind of tired. So um, I'm going to call it a night. But I'm going to end up... Next time you see the car, most likely I'll end up having these diffs and the casings at front and rear inside of this uh, creation that we're making. But um, yeah, thank y'all for watching the video so far. Um, if y'all have any pointers on anything else that y'all see I'm doing or anything like that, let me know. All right, y'all. So wanted to mention that with these gears out of the stretch typing versus the outcast gears, it's um it's gonna give you more top end because of the size of the gear. So yeah, you should have fun with this. Alright y'all, like I said, I'm going to bed. Alright y'all, I uh, know I was tired last night. Um because I definitely took everything too far, farther than I needed to go. Took the front end off of my stress typhoon, which I didn't need to do. All I needed to do was um, get this gear out that is stripped, and it's a very easy way to do that, and I'm probably gonna show y'all. Just imagine, this is already in the vehicle, and you took all this out, which I did right here. <laughs> If, you, if you've worked on these cars before, you're already laughing at me. If you haven't, you're going to be laughing at me in about five minutes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Hold on one second. All right, y'all. So, there's my dismantle of my front end that I didn't need to do. Because all you have to do to get that gear out is simply... See this grub screw right here? Take a... Two and a half, 2.5 millimeter, get that grub screw off. You know, in my past videos, if it's hard to get it off. You use red Loctite or something, use a little heat, try to keep it away from this, get it on this side mostly, and take the grub screw out. And you just pull this grub screw straight out, and you'll be able to pull that gear right out. So I took all this off. For nothing because it all looked just like this last night before me getting into my head and getting tired and I could have just left it like that and just switched them out but you know <sighs> my 
that grub screw out like that. Like I said, now you can pull this off ever so gently. <laughs> then you can push from the back side, like you can push it in and it'll come out just like that. You can either grab it with your hand or some uh, needle nose pliers or whatever you want to do. And I'm just going to grab it with my hand. My fingers are too fat, so I'm just going to use <clears throat> I'm using those pliers to get it out. Probably going to need to. Nope. That's simple. So I did all of that for nothing. And I knew better. So I'm taking these things out. Not in this car. This is actually, if you could tell, I don't have any red uh, uh, grease in there. The guy that I bought this from, uh, it's a guy that I told y'all before. They taught me how to uh, speed run and stuff. So this is basically his setup. The suspension and all that stuff that he had set up. And I just, you know, geared it up and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah. But all the other ones, I have red grease in them. So... Yay. All right, y'all, so pretty much um, came to the conclusion and found out that the input shaft gears were bad and the diff gears were bad. So what I'm gonna end up doing and I already did do is took all my diffs and all my input shaft gears out of my eight scales because I'm on a time schedule here. His birthday is on the 7th and or the weekend, of the, it's the weekend of the 7th and I literally do not have time to ship them here, get it all done, and then be on time to give this to them. So I took, I'm taking the best ones I have out of my eight scale speed run car and basher car. Well, it's, they're kind of both bashers, but I don't beat on my cars like that. So um, yeah, if you can see this, the Outcast, um, input gear is pretty much mowed down there's a gear on this one that is two teeth missing that are right there or they're halfway broken off right there and you can hear it when you're driving this one's bad too and if you make it if you look at it real quick this gear is bigger so it's going to make the truck faster so he's going to really enjoy this you know what i'm saying so that's all I'm getting to. Um, I'm pretty excited for him because his first RC car. Um, this is gonna be fun. I just can't wait to give it to him. All right, y'all. So you'll see what I uh, see what I'm talking about when I get it all buttoned up and everything's all done. Yeah. All right, y'all. I got the input shaft gears in. Both sides. And then next I'm gonna get the best two uh, gears, composite gears. If I have to switch the tops off, then I'll switch the tops off, but I'm keeping my uh, hot racing metal gears. But all of these have 100K oil in them, uh, fluid, I'm sorry, 100K diff fluid in them. And then in the center is gonna be 500K. And we're gonna go from there. Alright, just to show you uh, what fluid I use is Factory Team sil uh, Silicone Diff uh, Fluid, 100K. That's what I have in these right here, all of them. And then Factory Team 500K. I have that in my center diffs, which is uh, my hot racing, me, my Armor Metal Diff, Armor Metal Diff. And then he's going to be getting a stock center diff with. Uh, 500k in it you can tell because it's look how stiff that thing is i can't even stop that from <laughs> it's not from the 100k in there all right make sure i got everything moving i'm good yep all right y'all got the uh rear end and it's all connected. 
I'll be trying to lift this up and rotate it, but everything's flimsy, but yeah, it'll be good. Get some uh, grease in there and seal it up. All right, y'all, plugging away, plugging away. Got to um, put some grease. I always use Mobile One synthetic grease in my diffs, so I'm going to put grease all around the diff. Uh, put 100K inside the diff in the front, and I put 500K in the center diff, and I put 100K in the rear diff. So that's how I'm gonna have it set up for him and this. As you see the gears going across, grease in there, real nice. I'm gonna throw some more in there. I just like to make sure it gets on all the gears, and then I throw a big patch down at the bottom just to make sure it stays lube for a while. Now that big patch goes up onto that gear up there, on top here, and we'll get a lot more around these gears spinning and connecting with each other. And you'll see a glob of, see it, here it comes, right there, big glob. So it'll stay lubricated for a while in there. That's how I grease my discs, just like that. All right, y'all, bringing it outside so I can see something real quick. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put shaft gears real smooth and working. I don't know if y'all can see that in there, but I can see it. I'm just moving real nice. Sounds real good. Put some shock fluid in the shocks, stuff like that. Probably put some 45 weight in there. Yeah, the front needs some. All right, y'all. Got most of the parts on. Got the diff in. Everything's moving and working properly. Next, I'll be putting the motor and stuff in tomorrow. Let's got all this stuff put in tonight. <clears throat> Not call it a night. But yeah. Alright y'all done. Got everything complete. Actually took three vehicles that I have to get everything complete. Because I had different things in different vehicles that I could use for this. And um yeah. It's all basic things that come in here, but it's just the fact that I had to take stuff out of it. Like I took the diffs out of both of these to make sure I have the best diffs that I had to put in here and the input gears that I put in here are from these two to make sure they're proper, they're Typhon input gears. And then the steering servo I took out of my stock limit list and put the stock steering, uh, steering servo in there. Had a um, extra BLX system uh, laying around, put that in there. Uh, took the Traxxas receiver and remote TQI, put it in there, because that's the extra remote that I had. And then the hubs are Typhon hubs instead of Outcast hubs, so you know they're a little shorter than the actual Outcast or Creighton hubs. But um, yeah, the shock towers are Typhon shock towers, and the arm, the shocks are 
Outcast create everything from here over is Outcast creating Notorious. And we're gonna see how it works well. I know it already works pretty good because I've seen people do it before. But um, yeah, you should be happy with this. It's more like a chuggy feel, you know what I mean? So uh, more travel for the arms and the speed. I'm just gonna give them a 3S battery so you can learn a little better on it. Don't wanna give them nothing too crazy so you just smash it up. So that's the way we're going with it and see if I can get a video or two out here. All right, Joe, like I said, everything's buttoned up, ready to go. I just wanna show you everything that I'm giving them for uh, for this uh, truck that he bought. Um, giving them the stock Allen keys and toolkit. Uh, I'm also giving him this charger that works. I'm actually charging the battery that I'm giving him, except I'm only giving him a 3S battery. I don't wanna give him anything too crazy. And that's everything right there. How much would you pay for everything? Put that down in the comments, let me know. Um, I think I gave him a, a great deal for what I did and what he's getting. Cause uh, I went through everything, made sure that everything worked. Um, diff fluids, shock fluids. I didn't show the shock fluid that I was doing, but filled them all up with uh, 45 weight, which is right here. 45 weight, filled all the shocks up with 45 weight, which is pretty good for jumping and all that stuff. So yeah, uh, just waiting for the battery to charge and then I'm gonna take it outside. Um, we're gonna get start getting hit here soon with the old uh, hurricane that came up from Florida. So yeah, see if we get some time before it all goes down. Just gonna take it out so I can see that it runs and all that stuff, and then I'm gonna bring it in. I don't wanna go too ham on something that I just made, and he's gonna be waiting for it. Like I said, it's only three S. Have fun with that, man. <laughs> all right y'all that was the run of it everything seemed like it's working perfectly fine what i'm gonna have to do is <laughs> clean this all off um and yeah there we go Alright y'all, thanks for watching.